find the values of x and y given that x y plus y is equal to 45 y minus x is equal to 5 we can decide to call this equation 1 and call this equation 2 i'm going to be starting from equation 1 so i'll say from equation 1 you notice that y is common so i'll factor out y open brackets xy divided by y i have x plus y divided by y is 1 close bracket equal to 45 well i can name this equation 3 now this time i'm going to be concentrating on equation 2 so i'll say from equation 2 now i want to make the equation 2 to look like this and i'll do that by moving negative x to the right hand side so that i have y i'll move 5 to the left to become minus 5 to be equal to as negative x crosses to the right it becomes positive x now pay attention to this here i have x plus 1 so i must make this x plus 1 that means i need to add 1 to both sides so i have y minus 5 add 1 equal to i have x i also add 1 so this simplifies into y minus 5 plus 1 is minus 4 and this is equal to x plus 1 now it is looking like this but the only difference is that this x plus 1 is being multiplied by y so in order to achieve that i'll have to multiply both sides by y so i'll multiply the left hand side by y and i'll also multiply the right hand side by y that is it so we've got it so we've got y times x plus one as it is here in equation three now let's open up this bracket so we have y times y which gives y squared minus y times 4 is 4y equal to this is y times x plus 1 so we can decide to call this equation 4 now notice that y times x plus 1 in equation 3 is equal to 45 so we can substitute 45 here so we have y squared minus 4y to be equal to so i'm going to be writing 45 in place of y times x plus 1 and this is a quadratic equation that we're going to be solving so for this quadratic equation we move 45 to the left hand side so that we have y squared minus 4y and as 45 crosses to the left it becomes minus 45 to be equal to zero now we're going to be using the quadratic formula to solve this our a from here is equal to the coefficient of y squared which is one our b is the coefficient of y which is negative four and our c is a constant term which is negative 45. now we're looking for y so y will be negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a now let's substitute here so we have y to be equal to negative b negative b b is negative 4 plus or minus the square root of b squared which means negative 4 squared minus 4 times a times c so 4 times a a is 1 times c c is negative 45 all over 2 times a that is 2 times 1 now simplifying further we have y to be equal to negative times negative makes positive so we have positive 4 here plus or minus the square root of negative 4 squared is 16 now this negative times this negative becomes positive 
4 times 45 is 180. So we have 180. All over 2 times 1 is 2. And then simplifying further, we have y to be equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 plus 180 is 196 all over 2. So now simplifying further, y would then be 4 plus or minus the square root of 196 is actually 14 all over 2. So there are two values of y from here. So we have y to be equal to, we have 4 plus 14 divided by 2, or the value of y is equal to 4, now we go with a minus, minus 14, all over 2. Now for this, 4 plus 14 is 18, divided by 2, which gives 9, and now this, we have 4 minus 14, is negative 10 divided by 2 which gives negative 5 so these are the two values of y now let's use these two values of y to find the values of x to get the value of x we focus on equation 2 let's make x the subject from here so we say from equation 2 making x the subject we have x to be equal to y minus 5. That is it. Now let's substitute the values of y from here. So let's start with the first value of y. When y is equal to 9, we have x to be equal to 9 minus 5, which gives 4. And then the other value of x, let's put it here. When y this time is equal to negative 5, the value of x will be negative 5, negative 5. Negative 5, negative 5 will give negative 10. So the pairs of x and y will be when x is equal to, the first one is 4, y is 9. And when x is negative 10, y is negative so these are the two solutions for x and y. Well, if you have any other method that is shorter than this and that is more elegant, you can show that on the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, Take care.